Hello friends, this video on Amines part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand the aryl amines. So what are aryl amines? In aryl amines, this NST group is attached to a benzene ring. So we see the simplest one is C6H5 NS2. I have a benzene ring attached to NS2. So I have NS2 here. Yeah, NS2. NS2 here and in this if I have a benzene ring attached instead of some R till now what we have learned is R NS2 kind of thing right? is alkylamine now instead of R I have a benzene ring attached to this this is called aryl-amine. this benzene ring can again have a chlorine here NO2 here stuff like that but this benzene ring has to be attached directly to the NS2 it becomes aryl amine. The simplest one is C6H5NH2. This is also called aniline. This is the common name of this compound. This is the common name of this compound. Correct. And to write this name according to IUPAC name, instead of E, use this word amine. Very simple. For example, C6H5NH2 is from benzene so it is called ben see I'll, I'll show you benzene so instead of u e use amine it's called benzenamine correct you replace e with amine that becomes a iupac name of the right amine let's try to name this compound let's try to name the iupac name first See, it has a ammonia group and a methyl group. Obviously, so in this case, my amino group will get more priority. So in this case, the naming convention will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at 2, I have a methyl group attached. So it will be 2 methyl. And this whole thing is aniline. This is aniline. Right? Aniline. I can call it as 2 methyl aniline or I can also call it as 2 methyl instead of aniline I can call it as benzene amine why because this is also called as aniline this is a common name but it is accepted as IUPAC name or I can use benzene amine correct that is my IUPAC name but there's a catch here. See, you see the common name. The common name of this is ortho toledine. Why? Because this has more property of toline. Right? The property is more uh, similar to toline, so it is called ortho toledine. Since the property is more similar to toline, it doesn't make sense to call it aniline or benzamine. So it is also called as the same compound I'll show you. So the numbering starts from here, CS3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at 2 I have a amino group and then I have toluene. So these are all accepted names of this compound. So typically you, you should call it just by the IUPAC name, you should call it 2-methyl benzenamine or 2-methyl aniline, both are same actually. But since the, this, pro, this compound property is almost similar to toluene, it is also called 2-amino toluene. And the common name is obviously, for common name, we don't have any rule as such generally it is all based on the properties so its chemical properties since it is similar to toluene it is called ortho toluene correct let's see these compounds now ns2 and br here with on a benzene ring obviously amino has a higher priority you get give it one position two three and four five and six so four i have a uh, bromo so 4 bromo benzene amine let's 
that is the IUPAC name. So instead of benzene or mine, I can also use as aniline because this compound is accepted as aniline in the IUPAC name. So you can also call it as or bromo aniline. This is my IUPAC name. If we talk about the common name, so if you see this is bromine is at para position, right? This is para position. It will be para bromo aniline. This will be common name. So here let's talk about the common name for this compound. So if you see this ammonia is again a third degree, right? And there are two methyl groups attached here. Let me draw this figure for a clear understanding. Correct. So if you see two methyl group and one phenyl group. Correct. So it will be what? Dimethyl. dimethyl and then this whole thing was aniline so it is dimethyl aniline okay, because we to produce this we first took aniline and in this aniline replace two hydrogen with two methyl groups so this becomes dimethyl aniline if you want to write the IUPC name for this it will be what same at you see two of our substituent groups so it will be NN dimethyl because we use this N here and we can use benzenamide. Benzenamide. Or I can also use N and dimethyl aniline because aniline is also a accepted IUPAC name. But when you are writing IUPAC name, I will prefer to use benzenamide in the exams. Correct? So this is my IUPAC name. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.